Well, here's an exponential problem that comes up quite a lot. We're going to try to find a continuous model for population growth given just a couple of data points. So we'll start by writing out our continuous growth model. Remember, this is a function that involves e, the base of all continuously growing exponential functions, which we usually use to model populations. Now what we know from the data here is that p of 1 for one year is equal to 100,000, and I'll just write that as 0 0.1 million, and p of 7 is equal to 1.2 million. Now I'm using uh, millions here so that I don't have to write out so many zeros. All right, now let me tack on the remainder of our continuous growth uh, equation here. So this one is uh, equal to p naught e to the 1 r, and this one's p naught e to the 7 r. Remember I use p naught, that means p sub 0, it just uh, stands for the initial population. So what we have here is two equations and two unknowns, and we're going to solve those by solving each of them for p naught first, and so I get uh, 0 0.1 over uh, e to the 1 r is equal to 1.2 over e to the 7 r. Now we just need to use a little bit of fancy rearranging, or not so fancy really, to solve this equation. So um, I'll cross multiply first. That's usually the first approach to a problem like this where you have one ratio equal to another. Then I'll put the uh, um, exponential terms together and then I can use the law of exponents. e to the 7r over e to the r is just e to the 7r minus r, so that gives us e to the 6r. And if I of course, I have my r trapped in the exponent, so if I want to release that, I'll squeeze in a natural log here. So I get 6r is equal to the natural log of 12, so r finally is equal to log 12 over 6. So we get r is equal to about 0.4142. On these problems with um, things that are going to be in the exponents, I like to use a lot of decimals here because uh, we can. these problems can really suffer from round-off error. So now we need to find p naught. That's the last thing left. And just like we would do on linear equations, like a system of linear equations, we'll just plug um, the r that we already have into one of our equations. So I'll just use p of 1 is equal to p naught e to the 0 0.4142 uh, times 1, and we'll solve that. So here's p naught, just using a calculator, it's 0 0.0664. So we can finally write out our final model, and it's p of t is equal to p naught 0 0.0664 times e to the 0 0.4142t. And that should model that population pretty well.